day something. 17. Else. 17. 17. 17. And in the lint one, we have. <laughs> we, we got food. Blue fish. Uh. Which matches the light green. Yeah. And these are mini hazelnut cream milk chocolate balls. Which one do you want? Uh, I guess the darker. Nut whatever the fuck. It's all the same to me. They're the same thing, so whichever. Yeah. Do you like the color green or do you like the color blue? Yeah. Do you give her flying rat's ass? Yeah. Not really. But also, that's not really the shade of green that Monica's eyes are. They're more of an emerald green. So, yeah. I'm talking about a waifu, so what? Deal with it. This isn't the Doki Doki Literature Club advent calendar. Well, it should be. Well, Monica, it's not. Monica, Monica, every single day. That is how it should be. Who cares about the other girls? Oh, I mean, Yuri's kind of hot, and Sayori is third best. And Natsuki? Eh, she's alright. But Monica's where it's at. She's the best. And the only one that matters. Hey, we got another baked apple one. Yeah! I like the baked apple. Better than that stupid cappuccino one that keeps giving me. Yeah. Like, seriously, though, why are there so much coffee in these things? Like, really? I mean, some people don't want coffee 24 7. All the filling came out. <laughs> Put some filling back in there. It's stuck to my teeth again. There you go. I do like that because there is a little bit of apple flavor in there. Yeah. Seventeen. Oh, we got another one of these. Yeah. That's the third one of this one. But I like this one. Because it's not coffee. Yep. Yeah, that's my biggest issue is too many coffee ones. And this is the medallion hazelnut with the caramelized um, almond on top. This is going to be one of those bigger, flatter eggs. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently there's only two of these bigger ones. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't put it as day 24. Yeah. I think that's where I would have put it. This time it's a snowman on it instead of a Santa Claus. Yeah. So. But, I mean, it's not like it's printed on the egg itself. It just says Kinder. I don't know. Can you see it better this time? Probably not. I can't see it on there. There it is. Kinda. Kinda, sorta, but not really. It just says Kinder. It's a snowman full of white stuff. <laughs> So many of these chocolates are full of white stuff. <laughs> They're all too horny. You're just a pervert. That eh, too. <laughs> well, pokey. <sighs> Pokemon Day 17. Alright, numbers. Oh, yeah, there is there 17. Is. Better be fucking easier to get out of the damn thing. Of course you're not. Yeah, 
this ain't working. <coughs> I got my trusty, dusty little pen lid here. He looks like a bear. Yeah, that's, uh, I think, Teddy Ursa. Uh... Well, that makes sense. He looks like a teddy bear. And Ursa is bear. Ta-da! There he is. <sighs> it's Freddy Fazbear. I mean... I really could easily do one. Because <laughs> like, there's so many fucking animatronics. And they could even have one of, like, all the Aftons. Because they play a big part in the whole, you know, thing. The whole universe of dead children. I think next year we will look for a bigger variety. I think the number of calendars is more than enough. Yeah. But we'll look for a, more of a variety and not four chocolate ones, because maybe... Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe one chocolate. As much as I love chocolate, I'm getting chocolated out. Yeah, it's way too much for me. And we're almost done, but, like, I don't even know. <laughs> Like how much? <coughs> so much chocolate. This is where I would have liked to have to had the money to buy the candle one. Yeah. Because I like candles. Yeah. And I could reuse the thing because it came in. They were in little drawers, which I think is a really cute idea. I'd like to do a different style of tea one. One that it doesn't print on the front what the thing is. So that it's a surprise. Yeah. That one, I was I was a little disappointed when it came and I saw that. But, I don't know. I'm looking forward to trying all the different teas and hot chocolates. Yeah. I just would have liked it to have been more of a surprise as to what you got on which day. It's okay to list what's in it on the back. I mean, these... You know, show, ah, show pictures of the different chocolates on the back. The Pokemon one shows what the different things are, but you don't know when you're going to get whatever it is. I think I, I, we, we, we may need a Hot Pocket advent calendar. Maybe, maybe a pizza roll advent calendar. What, one pizza roll a day? Yeah. Although that wouldn't be nearly enough for me. I'd eat every single fucking... We'd have to do the whole calendar in one day, and then we'd be fighting over who got how many. Yeah. They'd but. have to put two in each pocket or each drawer. Yeah, because they always come in twos. <laughs> we, but the two of us. Yeah, that, that way we each get a, a whole pizza roll. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking. But you'd have to keep it in the freezer. Yeah. Just like one of each flavor or different flavor, <laughs> maybe two of each flavor. Like that'd be awesome. It's like, oh yeah. Well, you had to one. put two in a in each door. Yeah. I think you're you're looking at something too convoluted. Yeah. And they have done the both the hot pocket snack bite things that are kind of like pizza rolls. Yeah. So they could do something like that if they really wanted to. And they had they had like the nacho flavored pizza rolls there for a while. And yeah. A couple other different types. I still can't. Was it taco? I think. I still kind of want to have the one that I saw at Kroger once. It was, uh, I guess, the the FaZe Clan Hot Buffalo whatever of uh, pizza rolls. Hmm. I mean, the FaZe Clan is doing weird shit. I don't even know what that is. Basically, the biggest eSport people. FaZe Clan and... Doesn't uh, mean anything to me. Eh, pretty much the most well-known... When it comes to the eSport thing, second best to probably Optic Gaming or mm. something like that. Both of those are really well known. If you say so. I don't know who they are. <laughs> All I know is I'm not good enough for any of them. <laughs> Especially if you play games like Call of Duty and Halo. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, well, does DJ still want to play me on Doom? Probably. <laughs> I have no idea. When are you going to bring that down here so I can play? I don't know. I don't have Doom. And your computer is too shit to run it, so I mean... <laughs> I can run Classic, but not Doom Eternal. And not Doom 2016. Dude, I can barely get past level 1 on the original Doom. How am I supposed to play whatever the hell the other one is? 
eternal whatever. And it's much harder than the original. Even on I'm just gonna die, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> Especially if I'm playing against him, I'd be dead before I got a shot off. Eh. That's pretty much how it is on Deathmatch on Classic Doom. Like, he's a professional. I mean, he goes by Sonic Doom as his name. Yeah. So, uh, hello. And let me tell you, he's a fucking professional when it I comes would, to... I would go as Clueless Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, it's like, like especially Classic Doom. Like, he's and, good And enough. you figure I play Doom, what, once every 30 years? <laughs> so, um... So, when it came out, and then whenever you got the PS... Or whenever I got the PS4... And so, I, 30 years from then, yeah. I'll play it again. You're going to be in your fucking 80s, just like, How do I work this Now button? I'd be in my 70s, because I was in my 40s when you got it. Yeah. Late 40s, but still. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be in a fucking old person's home trying to play Doom. And just like... What the fuck am I doing? I say that now. You're gonna put me in a home, huh? Well, when you start naming the imps that you're trying to kill, I mean, there's someone what? that fucking what Fluffy and Spot and and um Brazilla and. And <laughs> I'm not supposed to name him. I don't know. Don't kill for Zilla. <laughs> I I lost it. I'm lost. So lost. And it gets worse. If you start adding mods to Doom, it gets worse. The combination of two <coughs> mods, Holy Hell Dot Wad, and Brutal Doom. Brutal Doom is much harder than the original, because everybody's got fucking machine guns, and your health will go down faster than a penis on a sled. Okay, you put that penis on a sled, it's gonna go downhill. Why do you always have to start talking about that? I don't in my know. videos well, I try I to be more or less family know. friendly and here you are talking about that again oh, it's not nobody a... cares about your boy parts well me you but yeah me you. so as if brutal doom wasn't enough you have a game that will spawn in I don't know how many revenants I don't know how many cyber demons, but there's like five billion demons everywhere. And then you play Nuts.Wad. Which is nuttier than Holy Hell.Wad. Because you're in a small ass area. And you have to just. I don't know what. But you have to do something. I think it was. Was it Wolfenstein? That I made the level dogs. What dogs? And it was all dogs. Yeah. And no way out of the room. But I've always found it weird, though. Like, certain games on PC, they had that. They had level editors. I built an unbeatable level. Yeah. And I intended it to be unbeatable. Because there was no door, no secret passage, no nothing. You could not leave the room. Yeah. And it was wall-to-wall -wall dogs. Meh. And I named it dogs. What dogs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think every game should have a fucking level editor. Well, it's so much fun. I imagine... Huh, I had chocolate melted on my pants. I mean, imagine if, uh... They need washed anyway. If games are already fucking almost impossible, <coughs> be like Dark Souls. <coughs> if Dark Souls had a level editor, I would make Dark Souls look like a fucking goddamn child's play. Uh. I would make it like Animal Crossing. So easy. Because my levels will be so goddamn hard, you will snap your controller in half, you'll grab your dog, and throw it at a microwave. Nope, nope, to nope. Make no it... throwing dogs at microwaves. Well, nope, 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 nope. 
You throw a dog and you put it in the microwave and it turns to a hot pocket. I'm going to turn you into a hot pocket. Well, you turn to a hot pocket and then you stick the hot pocket on top of the TV that you broke and that will make it better. Because at least your television will taste good. <laughs> huh? You know what to do. <laughs> See the next one. I'm, I, yeah, whatever. <laughs> See you in the next one.